Hey, what's up? Um, for anyone that's like living in Maryland and interested in getting a cannabis prescription, um, this video will be for them. Basically describing my process enabling me to get this prescription. Um, so I didn't know a whole lot about how to go about getting, you know, a green card or whatever you want to call it, uh, a prescription, a cannabis prescription, it's not a green card, <laughs> a cannabis prescription through the Maryland Medical Cannabis Commission, MMCC, Maryland Medical Cannabis Commission. Um, I didn't know a whole lot about that, so I just basically went to one of the stores. I just looked up Columbia cannabis dispensary and the first one that came up was remedy in Columbia off of Dobbin and um, I basically just walked in there they were like hey are you a patient and I was like super nervous because I felt like this was like kind of illegal or it still felt like kind of sketchy or something to me and I was like well no you know I'm just trying to figure out you know how to get a you know a prescription or how to get you know an ID a card enabling me to you know buy this this stuff this pot is what I said probably and they're like well no it's flour first of all and uh, so they're like all right well they gave me some informational brochures about their business as well as um, some of the um, doctors that were in the area and the one that they recommended me to was Camacare Docs C-A-N-N-A -N -N -A Care Docs, D-O-C-S, which was in Columbia, uh, right in the Owen Brown Village Center. And um, <clears throat> there's other ones that are newly available now in other areas in Maryland, I'm pretty sure. And you'd be able to find those on Weed Maps or Leafly, which are both apps in the App Store. So Weed Maps and Leafly you can probably find information about I would search weed maps because that would be the most accessible to people probably because it does it by location and GPS whereas Leafly is more just like informational stuff about strains um, you'd be able to find information about where doctors are and where dispensaries are and um, so yeah, just go talk to someone or, you know, basically what they told me is I went to Canacare Docs and they were like, all right, what you're going to need to do is go talk to a primary care physician and a psychiatrist or a psychologist or a social worker and get a description of your diagnosis. Um, so if you've got like depression or bipolar disorder or like an eating disorder or even if you just are worried about getting cancer or if it's, you know, uh, you've got a neurodegenerative disease in your family or high blood pressure in your family or epilepsy or these kinds of things. Or you have like a pre-genetic disposition to like getting cancer. I'm pretty sure if you talk to a primary care physician, they might sign off on you. Um, <clears throat> and getting you know a social worker to work with you about your anxieties about getting cancer or something would probably be a reasonable explanation <clears throat> um to get them to allow you to get one and you can probably talk about whatever else you need to at the same time you know go like once a month something like that it won't be too expensive just get something that's in your budget and in your plan your health plan with within network if possible find someone that you like and trust you know just like ask the question after a couple of sessions like hey you know they might even recommend a social worker some places like can care docs you know the um, doctors initially who you see who recommend you to go see your primary care physician as well as your social worker they might even recommend a social worker they might be like you can go here I don't know I already have one so basically I got signed off went back to um, Canicare docs 
after it took about two weeks two to three weeks probably and then they got me a MMCC number which was emailed to me Maryland Medical Cannabis Commission number um, it was a number that was sent through a PDF and then it was basically I had to log into this portal and pay like a fifty dollar fee or fine um, I think it wasn't a fine it was like a fee fifty dollar fee and then there's like an enro re-enrollment period every year um, and um, I guess you have to re-enroll through the portal of MMCC and uh, but yeah you can get more information probably just with your doctor um, or anyone but that's what I did so for anyone who is interested in how I got mine that's basically just what I did so hope that helps if it didn't whatever have a good day